Now I'm going to read <clears throat> from the memoir to 40, the autobiography of David Smith, read by the author, David Ray Smith. <laughs> now this section here, here he has his car, he gets a car, he's in New York, but he gets a, a Chevette, it's a silly car, but he, guide, he buys it for a little money from Guy Blaylock. He's like going to, I don't know, he doesn't need the car anymore. He's going somewhere, back to somewhere. Cars in New York, there's me. <laughs> so I have to go to Minneapolis because I have a job in Minneapolis. So here I am. This begins the trip to Minneapolis. I played Madonna songs in the car as I drove. Later in Minneapolis, I would see Madonna in concert and from a seat very near the stage. It was probably the summer of 1986. And I was now 30 years old. <laughs> I had very little money, but at least I had a job now. I remember I stayed at a Super 8 motel somewhere in Minneapolis for like $18 a night and started looking for an apartment. I ended up getting a place at 3418 Blaisdell Avenue near Lake Calhoun. It would be a short bus ride to the office in downtown Minneapolis. To my surprise, I came to the bank for my job, but the guy who hired me had quit. <laughs> so the active part of the department was leaving to form their own business. So I had to get on with the remaining staff who were not politically aligned with the individual who hired me. I was low level entry level anyways. <laughs> I started learning the Alcon software for doing valuations of businesses. <laughs> It was I was taking the move as a way to start my life over and live it the way I wanted. I was living alone now and could do that. I wanted to renew my music and take harpsichord lessons. I played some Bach concertos with a couple of flute players. I was that's on the harpsichord. I was active in the Amateur Chamber Music Players of America and went to their camp and played a difficult Brahms quartet. I was kind of difficult, but they play Brahms anyway. Actually, now I remember I was still playing piano in New York while living with Maria. There was a lady on the Upper West Side named Joanne and her friend, and I used to play like Schubert trios with them, with their where they played cello and violin. Actually, I know their names from there. Joanne and the other one. I don't know if the name is, but she's like a psychologist or something at Columbia. I became regular to the set sang in Minneapolis and met Jim Mannion. Later he later later he would go to India at the same time as me. I went to India with Jim Mannion. Minneapolis had attractive Swedish bonds living there, so that was encouraging since I had some steady income finally. I wanted to make certain I did the things I found important. I went to the Ames Library of South Asian Literature, which was full of Sanskrit books. I met a girl who was a Sanskrit scholar and, and asked her out, only to be refused when she explained she was a lesbian. <laughs> her name was also Smith. Minneapolis had tough weather. Summer was hot. 
and humid while the winter was very cold. I remember walking to and standing, waiting for the bus, and the walk was only like one block, but being very cold, Minneapolis had an elevated walkway in the city so you could walk around town without going outside. Spring was a short two-week moment of bliss when everyone went outside. I used to go to Lake Calhoun. I go on long bike rides around the lakes and I rode. One day I rode 50 miles. I took a vacation alone to Mexico where I wrote one of my poems about Mexico. There was a chess competition there and I met the young girl, Hampton Polgar, P-O-L-G-A-R. I learned juggling, juggling there on the beach. One hippie type American guy took the time to teach me juggling. He emphasized using the wrist and said it was good therapy. Juggling became important to me. I could measure the quality of my attention by how well I could juggle. If I could not juggle, I must have been out of balance. He had me put, cut the tennis balls a little slit and fill them with some sand in the bottom. And I juggled on the beach since that time. I rented an upright piano at my rented house and started recording my playing. Mary Garlic was the group leader in the Minneapolis Sex Sound. I was initiated in 1976 and it was already 1987. In October 19, 1987, the stock market dropped like 500 points. I remember walking over to the Charles Schwab office trying to put in a trade, but nothing could be done. <laughs> I got a, I got another British girl as a roommate. She worked at Rusk Hair Products, R-U-S-K. I enjoyed her company and, ac and accent and sense of humor, like the other British friends. <clears throat> well, I have a record of her somewhere. Hmm. Somewhere, she's back in, like in Scotland or something, I don't know. She was in Glasgow. I don't know her name. It's not in the book. What was her name? Hmm. Reading from the autobiography of Davy Smith, Memoir to 40. <clears throat> With the wilting of the MA, the Mergers and Acquisitions Department at SBS, or First Bank System, which became U.S. Bank. I saw that, that FBS had a problem in the news with its interest rate management. Here's my card at the bank. What's that card say? David Smith. Uh, funds management. Huh. Well, anyway, so the bank CEO, Dennis Evans, was trading long bonds and had incurred big losses on my, one of my poems from this time refers to this in incidence as the obliteration of shareholder value. <laughs> the bond uh, portfolio was managed by David Wolf. <laughs> David Wolf was an unusual banker and he had long hair, more like a rock musician. Yeah, very strange. David Wolf. Would, he kept his hair long, Dara. He worked in the bank, and he just kept his hair long. I told David about Tom Ho's software and offered my services to analyze and assess the risk of the bond portfolio. I switched. I had learned bond, bond analysis from Tom Ho, which I read in a prior story. I switched from the M&A department, which was actually a dead area, and started working in the treasury department as an analyst. 
After I had put the bonds on a portfolio system, I moved on to figuring out how to price swaps and interest rate caps, uh -huh, etc. I had a contact at Merrill Lynch, New York, named Jerry Lucas. And here we have two names there. David Wolf, Jerry Lucas, Dennis Evans. It was Jerry Lucas who fed me tips and information on how to do it. See, back then, back then in those days, uh, Merrill Lynch, like, right, had, was the broker for the funds department, so that's a big account. And so they would do things like analysts. Back in the old days, analysts would help you with things and they would do things for their clients. So here, Jerry Lucas is helping me, <clears throat> the guy from Merrill Lynch, on how to do it. Also in the Treasury Department was Jim Kranick and Scott Gibbet, Gibbon. I figure out how to price interest rate caps and flows. And Jim Kranick started writing a program to model them. Jim, Scott Gibbon and Scott Gibbon and Jim Kranick and I started a company. We called it M&M &M Software. <laughs> I can't believe we did this. Jim Kranick apparently got the name Eminem from the movie Catch-22. <laughs> Believe it or not, we made a lot of progress and filled the computer code with the, and filed the computer code with the copyright office in Washington. I also got a receipt for the copyright. I met a girl named Tony who was also in the software business. <laughs> hmm. So I'm going to stop there. Let's see. Part 18, actually. Part 18. Part 18, I moved to Minneapolis. And I start, there's my car. I start working. I start working and uh, there's my business card, first bank system. And then I, there you can see some analysis of the bond portfolio. That I would say, oh, this is what happens if rates go down 100 or go up 100. And I have the duration and convexity. <laughs> so that was cool. Back then you would say the convexity. <laughs> they were impressed if you could figure out the convexity. But what's the convexity of just treasury bonds. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. Anyways, and so that's part, end of part 18, working at First Bank System, waiting for my autobiography of David Smith. Mm -hmm. I'm Marta Florida.